Good day. For today's video, we will be learning about constant rates of change. Our essential question is how can you identify and represent proportional relationships? We have a few vocabulary terms before we start. Our first is rate of change, which is a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another quantity. And we'll be taking a look at that. The second is a proportional relationship, which is the relationship between two quantities in which the rate of change is a constant. And then a proportion, which is a statement that states that, excuse me, a statement that two rates or ratios are equivalent. And then our last one, probably the most complex, is the constant of proportionality which is a constant ratio of two variables that are related proportionally. In this equation, y equals kx, k, so the variable k, is the constant of proportionality. And k is also known as the unit rate, which is what we are now comfortable in finding. So, for example one, we're going to just determine if we have a proportional relationship or not. Callie earns money by dog sitting. Based on the table is the relationship between the amount that Callie earns and the number of days a proportional relationship. So when we look here at the table, we see the number of days 1 through 5. And so we see that for day 1, she earned $16. So we can say, based off of this part right here, that she earned $16 per day. Now to determine if it is a proportional relationship, we would just check this amongst all the other uh, data points in this table. So for this one, we see that for two days of dog sitting, she earned $32. And when I figure out my amount per day, which is the amount divided by the day, I know that 32 divided by 2 is also 16. So, so far, I have a constant rate of change. So I'm going to check it again with the third one, which is 48. So she earns $48 after three days of dog sitting. And again, when I look at this, I know that 48 divided by 3 is 16. So, so far we have a constant rate of change. Now I'm just going to check it with this one right here, just to be sure. She earns $80 over the course of five days. So I'm going to divide 80 by 5, and I see again that it's 16. So again, $16. And then this last one, since so far it's looking like I have a constant rate of change, and sometimes all it takes is one, one column for it to not be proportional. So let's check it with the 64. So now I take 64 and divide that by 4. And again, <clears throat> 64 divided by 4 is 16. So consistently throughout my table, the constant rate of change is that Callie earned $16 each day. So we would say that this table is, yes, it is proportional. Now for our second example, this is where we dive a little deeper and we are going to write an equation from our proportional relationship. But again, we have to start by determining if we even have a proportional relationship. So if there is a proportional relationship between two variables, so in this case example one, the two variables were the number of days and the amount of money earned. And I gave you, give you here the example miles and hours. <clears throat> if there is a proportional relationship between two variables, you can use 
that information to write an equation. And again, this is the equation form that we use, y equals kx. And if you take note of this, we see that there is no operational sign between k and x, which means it is y equals k times x, k times x. So let's take a look at our problem here. Two pounds of cashews cost $19, and eight pounds cost $76. Show that the relationship be between the number of pounds of cashews and the cost is a proportional relationship then write an equation for the relationship. So, if I know that two pounds of cashews cost $19, I want to figure out, well, how much does one pound of cashews cost? So I'm looking at the cost per pound, which tells me that I'm going to take my cost divided by, divided by my number of pounds. So 19 divided by 2 is 9, add a decimal and a 0, bring my decimal point up, and 9.5. So that is my constant of proportionality, or my unit rate, that is for one pound of cashews, $9.50. So can we use this information to check to see, well, three pounds, oops, three pounds of cashews would cost, we can do the math, 9.5 times three would be 28 And then let's check it with that other piece of information that is given to us in our problem that says 8 pounds cost $76. So let's check to see if that's proportional with the information that they give us. If it is proportional, we should find that for those 8 pounds that cost $76, it should cost us $9.50 for each pound. So if I take 76 and divide that by 8, I know the 8 times 9 is 72. And when I subtract, I get 4. I need to add a decimal point and a 0, bring up my decimal point. Bring down my 0, and 8 times 5 is 40. So again, I do see that I have a constant rate of change, or the constant of proportionality in this case, is 9.5. So I'm going to write that k, the constant of proportionality, also known as my unit rate, is 9.5. So in my equation, y equals kx, I'm simply going to substitute my value for k in place of the letter k. So y equals 9.5x. And what that means is in this case, x represents the number of pounds. So for 10 pounds, of cashews, I would simply take 9.5 times 10, and that would tell me the cost of those 10 pounds of cashews, which would be $950. Excuse me, $95, what was I thinking? So, now what I would like you to do Oops, there we go. What I would like you to do is try the two your turn problems. You'll have to turn the, 
turn the page over to get to the other your turn. I'd like you to try these two. And again, and as always, if you have any questions, mark them down and we will discuss them tomorrow.